What's up YouTube, Tech and Tweaks back again with another video. Today we're gonna look at some amazing tweaks that you can put on your iOS 14 jailbroken device. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. All right, starting off first, if we look at my lock screen real quick, you can see that I have a live animated wallpaper. It's just a video. My home screen is also a live animated wallpaper, and the tweak that does this is called frame. So if we go ahead and jump over to the settings of this tweak, you can see that there are a bunch of videos to choose from. I like the landscapes or the abstract. The ones that I'm currently running, I believe, are in OLED. So if we go over to OLED, just really rich, deep blacks. So if you go ahead and tap on it, you can go ahead and download it. You can preview it on the lock screen or the home screen real quick. You can go ahead and tap play, double tap, and this is what it would look like on your home screen or lock screen. Just a nice wallpaper that is a video. If you go ahead and download it, it will automatically add it to your downloaded folder up here in the top right. So we'll go ahead and let that download. All right, now that it's downloaded, you can go ahead and set it, or you can just come up here to this folder, and these are all of your current downloaded ones so that you don't have to go track them down again. As you notice, I also am running Frame on my iPad, so it does have iPad support. You just gotta find the right video size, and you can go ahead and run the Frame on your iPad. You can also choose a custom video, so if you want to go into like your photos or your own files, you can go ahead and apply that. The catalog is what I was in, but this one is called Frame. Super awesome wallpaper tweet. All right, so this next one I have for you guys is called A Shields, and basically what it allows you to do is lock individual apps. So you can go down here and select different applications that you want to lock. So right now I currently have Cydia locked, so if I were to try to open that application, it would ask my face ID. So let's go ahead and tap on it. You can see it recognized my face, so it opened the app. Now if we cover the sensor, I try to tap on it, it will not let me in until it recognizes my face. This one's a nice little tweak that I think should already be a stock feature on iOS. I'm not sure why Apple hasn't done this, but it is nice to lock individual applications using biometrics. You can also lock things in your control center. So if someone's on your lock screen and they are trying to turn off your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth or whatever, if you enable that, it will require the face ID to turn on and off. This one is a free tweak and a nice alternative to BioProtect. All right, this next one is called Anime My Badges. And basically all it does is with any of your badges, you can see how they are animating almost kind of like a heartbeat. So on the free version, you have these three animations. This tweak may help push you to actually clear your notification badges. All right, this next one I got for you guys is called Chat UI. And basically what it does is it allows you to customize iMessage. So if we jump into messages, you can go ahead and see that my messages are completely customized. I have a gradient here for the bubbles. I have a custom wallpaper. So if we jump into a message chat, you can see that I also have a custom background for the message chat. But basically what this allows you to do is just go ahead and customize and configure everything about iMessage. So you can just go through and run through any of these settings. These are where the, you can set the custom wallpaper. But there are just a ton of options to configure. It is also dark mode and light mode specific, so you can have two different themes. But this is a really great free alternative to dope settings. If you are not wanting to pay for that tweak, this one is free. Anyways, guys, that one's called Chat UI. This next tweak I have for you is called Rofi. This one is this little tab bar right here that allows you quick access to whatever applications you set. This one is pretty self-explanatory. There are a couple options to configure, but basically it's just a quick little shortcut so that say you're uh, in a different application and you want to jump over to a different one. It's just super easy to allow you to jump between applications. You can also adjust where the pull bar is, the color of the pull bar, and how many applications you can set on the pull bar. This one is free and it's a quick little productivity tweak. 
All right, next up we have Choosma. This one is a nice little tweak that allows you to be notified if someone is tracking you through Find My Friends. So anytime that your friends are looking at your location, this tweak will send you a notification that says someone is tracking you through the Find My Friends app. Now it doesn't tell you exactly who is tracking you at the moment. It just tells you that someone is tracking you. So hopefully the developer can update that so that it will tell you exactly who is tracking you. The reason why I don't have it installed on this phone is because this is not my daily driver phone, but this does work on iOS 14. This next one is just a quick little tweak called Adaptive Home Bar, and all it does is, depending on what application you are in, it adjusts the color of the home bar. So I'm in Messages, it's turned green, Cydia was brown, phone dialer was green. Basically it just takes the overall theme of whatever application you are in and just turns the home bar that color. That one is called adaptive home bar. This next one is a paid tweak. It is a Zen HTML widget. It is called smoke board and what it allows you to do is just kind of have a cool smoke animation on your home screen. It'd be a bunch of different colors. You can go ahead and adjust a couple settings to make it look more intense or less intense but it's more of just an aesthetics tweak. Running this with frame will probably kill your battery, so maybe run one or the other, not both of them, but it just looks kind of cool to have on your home screen. This one is a paid tweak, however. I think it is a $1.99, but anyways, guys, that one is called a smoke board. All right, and this next one I have for you guys is called Cylinder Reborn, and basically what it allows you to do is basically just animate your scrolling in between pages. This one is kind of an older tweak, but it has been updated. It's been updated to support iOS 14, but there are just a bunch of cool different animations that you can choose from. Right now I have it on randomized, so they are all kind of different. But this one is called Cylinder Reborn, and it is 100% free. All right, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, go ahead and leave a comment, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.